So what does spirituality and boundaries look like? It looks like keeping in mind that there is no right or wrong, good or bad. Remembering everyone for who and what they truly are, which is their higher selves. And they're just playing roles and um, <clears throat> holding everyone in a positive heart space. And this goes for anybody, no matter who or what they are. Even and I say what they are as in other energies. You know, people are very quick to label an energy as evil if they think of it a certain way. So this goes for that too. So keeping all that in mind, it's also okay to know that, especially since there is no good or bad, right or wrong, and you can't mess anything up, it's okay to walk away. It's okay to walk away from a person or situation if it doesn't feel good or feel right for you. I really try not to utilize a block button, the block button, because that is very strong resistance and resistance is futile. And whatever you resist or try and push out or block away is going to be pushed right back in your face until you decide to learn the lesson from it and move forward and up. At the same time, there are certain cases where I do utilize it. Um, I also recognize though that when I do utilize the block button, it's for me. Um, so I don't keep indulging in um, in the duality, particularly if it's pushing me into feeling like I want to debate, I walk away from that. And if I need to, need to use the block button, I do. So it's okay to walk away from a situation or a person if it's not feeling good, if it's not feeling good, it's okay to say, no, thank you. Not right now. I'm done. At the same time, the point is, is remembering, even as you're doing that, zoom out, zoom out, look at the bigger picture, look for perception change. Remember, they're just playing a role. Remember who they truly are, what you truly are. And um, ask for that. Did I say this already? Ask for the perception change. Ask for perception change and tell your team that you are allowing their higher selves and you want their higher selves to come online. Because again, it's your movie and you create your reality. So boundaries are a thing. At the same time, keep working toward focusing on the truth of reality. Do what feels good and right for you. And if that means walking away from someone or something, that's okay. You're allowed to do that. There's nothing wrong in doing that. At the same time, make sure you're doing your inner work, focusing in on your shit. Because at the end of the day, it's not them. You are a mirror and they have their shit, but your shit's in there too. And unless you work on your shit, it's just going to keep coming back at you through other people, other things, other situations. It's not going to stop until you work on your shit. The internal, the external always reflects the internal. Energy follows thought, period. That's one thing I can say. Psychology definitely has gotten right. Energy follows thought. So boundaries, good nothing wrong with them but do your inner work because the thing is the more you do your inner work and the more you raise up into a higher higher vibration and the more real reality comes online and new earth comes online you don't need the boundaries you don't need them and you won't want them because again boundaries equal separation duality and chaos which is the illusion it's not real we won't need boundaries when new earth fully comes online and we come into our full awareness Remember, I told you telepathy is starting to come on. Telepathy is coming online. And it's, yeah, it's happening. And once telepathy kicks in, you think there's any place to hide? And you think you're going to be able to lock people out? Mm -mm. But the thing is, again, we vibrate so high that we don't want to or need to. So <laughs> we've got, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I just realized that's actually really funny. Here's like a physical representation. Anytime like I'm, I'm, Eric and Robin are like almost always, well, they're always with me, especially when I'm, um, Eric's always with, well, no, they're always with me, but <laughs> they tend to, if they're going to be sitting behind me, the both of them, Eric's usually on this side and Robin's on this side. And I just realized I've got Robin here, like Robin, Peter, Robin's here and Eric's there. Oh, that's funny. I just noticed that. That's too funny. So yeah. Anyway, um, boundaries are okay, but remember that's still working within the illusion and chaos and, we're past that. 
I still utilize my boundaries, absolutely, because I'm still working on it, but I recognize, I recognize what that is. So recognize what it is, keep working on your shit, allow the higher selves of everyone to come online, and we won't need the boundaries anymore. But it's okay to utilize boundaries throughout this. But keep working on your shit, and remember, how's my hair looking? <laughs> keep working on your shit, and remember, it is always, there's always something in it that's a reflection of you. Okay? So boundaries good. Good is a judgment level. Boundaries are fine. There's no good or bad with boundaries. It's totally cool to utilize boundaries. But just remember that it's you, your shit, your movie. You're a mirror, but that's not your job to work on the part of being a mirror. It's your job to work on the reflection part, which is because that's your shit. It's your shit you need to work on. And as you work on your shit, the external also raises upward. Again, fix yourself, and in doing so, you fix the collective. So fix yourself, and within doing so, you fix the collective words all right this is like video number three for today i need to like stop oh 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 another thing too hmm, really quick i want to add um if you're in the perception that you're working with energy and you're waking up with injuries because you've had to battle you're literally working with your own fear and ego projected as spirit i can hear it going ding 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 um, energy will not hurt you without, if you're waking up with marks on your body, it's because you participated in something and you've allowed it to happen. Even if it looks like it's a perception of a battle, it's a game that you agreed to play because you wanted to do it for various reasons from training to experience. Um, it's all play. It's all games. It's all illusion, chaos. It's, it's the illusion of chaos and duality. I've woken up with a few scratch marks on the back of my shoulder and hips <laughs> from a certain somebody, <clears throat> but <laughs> I, again, it's not because he meant to hurt me. It's just stuff that happens and then it projects in the physical when I wake up. <laughs> So it can this the thing is it is very real where the physical marks can show up on our bodies but if you're in the perception that you've been attacked or you've been fighting and that's why you have an injury again that's that's within your own perception so um remember there is no good or bad energy is not evil energy energy plays it plays as we allow it to and what humans judge as dense dark and evil and hell dimensions and hell layers those are also just other simulations that we project consciousness into in order to play and i use the word play because that's the least judgmental thing that i can think of it's play it's not good or bad it just is it's like playing a video game and i i've been there with the whole hell dimension stuff and I've seen and I I've literally been there stuff has happened to me and I'm still working on it but I also can see how it's just rolls it's just rolls so and yeah yeah I was just gonna say and again it's we all agree to do it. It's, it's roles that we all agreed to play. And um, when an energy is ready to stop playing within chaos and duality, then it does. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I just went blank. I don't know what else I want to say <laughs> except for I guess I'm done. I guess that's it. Um, all right. Third video for the day that this needs to be it for today. No more videos. I don't want to overload you guys on stuff. So, oh, what is up? I, there's periods where I don't have the motivation to film at all. And then there's days like today where all I want to do is keep the camera on and keep talking. Ugh, it's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. And um, so I'm just checking out my background. <laughs> like, what can you guys see in the camera? <laughs> All right. I love you guys. And as always, have a wonderful now.